this video is a short video just to show the curve fitting tool in uh, in Excel with uh, and a uh, uh, little complex function. We're going to try to estimate from some samples what the function behind those samples uh, are. So uh, here, we have, have, here we can see the function that we are looking at as a time vector. Here is the function. Uh, the star function here are all the dots, so we want to try to fit these curves with a dot. Uh, so if we, if we um, select this one, these are the numbers that we uh, we are going to to try to curve fit. Uh, so what we have to do now is to get these two vectors into uh, into MATLAB. And uh, here is MATLAB. So what we can do now is just to copy these two vectors from from uh, Excel. Uh, first we make just uh, just a variable called time but we want to turn it into a vector. So now I copied from uh, from Excel there's 242 numbers. So that was the time vector and now I also need the output function or the results on my dots I need to put into uh, MATLAB. Uh, I just call this one, uh, yeah, I would use uh, uh, y equals zero, I have to assign it to something. I just do this to open it. Here's just uh, one number, but uh, just going back to, to Excel again and, uh, and uh, click on copy see that I did. So here, here are the sample numbers that I have. Um, so there are 242 numbers. This, uh, they have to be equal. So now I have to start the curve fitting tool. That's a, it's a toolbox in, uh, in MATLAB. It's called CF tool. See here the um, or the tool opens, what he is asking for now is uh, some vectors. Uh, we need the T vector and the Y vector. This is pretty much what we saw, uh, or the scatter that we had in, uh, in, uh, in um, uh, Excel. That was scrolled down when I did the copying. So this is the blue dots, uh, the scatter that we ha had had in uh, in uh, Excel. So this is what we have in MATLAB. But we have to try to fit a function. And here in in MATLAB we have uh, some some pre-built function. But this one is is uh, is uh, complex. So what we need to do is we we need to make a custom equation. Um, so this is what he uh, suggested. Uh, it's not quite this one. Uh, first, t is my argument here. It's time. So I have to put that in a t. Uh, of course, I get an error now because there is, is no vector for, uh, for t here. Uh, I can also give it a name because I can save this. So this is complex. Uh, complex curve uh, fit or something. This is not correct. Uh, but I could change that to T here. Okay, at least then he, he does something. But uh, looking at this one, it looks like here at zero that it, it is a decaying oscillation. This is just random numbers. And uh, what I want to try to do is to have MATLAB try to fit it to, to a decaying with an envelope here for the exponential and then there's a cosine it seems like because here is zero and it starts at maximum. Seems to be a cosine. Uh, and it's also the formula that we are going to use is this formula here. Because that's the formula the function has uh, been made to use this one. Uh, but just by looking at this um, in um, in MATLAB, well, we can 
assume it's at least it's some kind of sinusoid. So what I have to do now is I have to start to to, to write this stuff here. Yeah? That was uh, a times exponential b times minus b times c. That's what was in the formula. But what we do is we have to multiply it by a cosine. And here I just put in a number. It's omega t plus a phi or a p. Uh, so I, I, I want to try this, uh, this function. It should be uh, minus p times cosinus omega t p times o. I have to have times here. Okay. So now we fitted it. Whatever I was. Oh, we needed an enter too. This is the formula of one line. Of course, it's omega times t. And now MATLAB he just calculated uh, what he thinks is the best fit for this function. And he has the numbers a 4.577 uh, b. Okay, there is a little phase offset here. Uh, and but you see at zero here it starts just like a cosine and it's a decaying exponential. So if we remember these numbers and then we can go back to Excel here, uh, 4.57, these are the same numbers. The Excel has it on a curve fit here too. So, uh, so MATLAB did a pretty good job. Uh, just by typing in this uh, equation here. Uh, what, 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 uh, well, <laughs> you have to ha have to just queue a little back and forth to look at Excel and stuff uh, like that. So this was just um, just a quick uh, introduction to uh, to MATLAB and curve fitting using a custom uh, equation that you often have to do if it's uh, a little complex. You have to assess what kind of function could all these dots be and just try it out and uh, yeah well I made this function out of this cosine with a few random numbers so I know what it is but you have to try to assess what this uh, is.